But do you guys see an influx in black women doing red pill talk? Is it that they really feel this way? Is it that they really feel this way like I do or any man who's in the manosphere or on YouTube or whatever? You know, y'all guys know our space, right? Do they really feel this or do they do this for a check? <laughs> girls who are sitting at their graduation engaged and the question came up well why is it not the reality for black women i know y'all not gonna like what i gotta say but you know me i'm gonna say it anyways first and foremost black women are above reproach if it don't validate us or excuse our bad behavior we don't want to hear instead we'll say well men do it too secondly we'll find every excuse in the world to validate why we don't want to be married or why we don't want to be in a relationship well they get cheated on well they do this well they do that but then we have all these standards for men and we're still actively seeking for men in the midst of I heard why inadvertently telling them to go to therapy. We do not practice what we preach. Thirdly, the independent woman is a myth. Actually cared about being independent and it was something that made you happy. You would not have all these standards to negate your independence. Nobody wants to relinquish power. We'll find every excuse in the world to not be submissive and wonder why white women can get away with their bad behavior. We take everything bad from white women except for the fact using marriage to our own benefit. But you'll run to the child support office though get equality against men and the only time we actually want to be equal to men is when it comes to degenerate behavior hypersexuality abusing or abandoning children even when it comes to the gold digger conversation what you don't see those other women do even when they are just screwing men for money is bashing men and inadvertently making men feel like they're not important also too telling them that they don't need men psychologically we have been taught to disassociate ourselves and even in that Malcolm X quote where he says the black woman is the most disrespected he also says to be near your man even though I agree with every, everything she's saying, it's cool, it's cool, it's cool. Do you guys, I'm going to ask you guys a question. I'm going to cut this out too. Do you guys, um, before I do that, I can always, I, I, I like, like always you guys, I do not try to hog the mic. If anybody want to come up here and speak on whatever the topics are tonight or y'all want to get something off your chest you can go ahead down in the comment section right now in the chat room that, that link is right there but do you guys see an influx in black women doing red pill talk like really speaking on how men are you know just not treated right in this country i'm seeing a lot of them pop up now the first time i seen it was the woman i forgot her name but i did a show on her and then i used this other woman's um content a lot i just found her instagram i followed her and you got this woman you got a lot of women. Now, I, I say that to infer this. Is it that they really feel this way? Is it that they really feel this way like I do or any man who's in the manosphere or on YouTube or whatever? You know, y'all guys know our space right do they really feel this or do they do this for a check and I ask this question because every one of them that I see has a bigger following than me has one of them they have thousands and millions of views and all of this right and here i am I'm the, I, I got called the struggle channel the other day you know i'm putting on my content right and, and 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 my content is flawless i believe i'm very entertaining i believe that i'm very you know conscious of 
how I represent my content. I don't think that I mimic anybody else's content. You guys tell me. I don't know. You, you're looking at me, and I'm sure you guys are, are, are subscribed to other channels bigger than me. So am I, you know, do I, uh, that's why I don't look at their shit, because subconsciously you can start to mimic people when you're doing what, what they do. But I present my shit, my thumbnails are off the chain, everything is cohesive, and I speak with, with, with sense, and I'm not you know, being arrogant here, I'm just, this is eight years in the making, you guys, so I got a right to understand and recognize my motherfucking um, hard work, right, but I see these women do it, and they jump, they, they just shoot to the moon with the shit, that shit just be popping, and I be like, wow, mmm, mmm, and that and that's exactly true, my man. Um, because Tommy sold my yours like my YouTube daddy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm sorry. I mean, I'm not afraid to say it. You know, um, and that's why I don't really listen to him now. You know, I'm, I'm I, I seen him back on YouTube. I don't know if he's still there, but I, I, I try to be my own person. You know. But these women are making a lot of money off of the struggle of men. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. 